Hi, I'm Austin Carson, 2017 Star Chefs Colorado Rising Star. We're here at Mizuna in Denver, Colorado, and today with a little help from our Vitamix Vita Prep 3 and the new aerating container, we're going to make an eggnog milkshake. So let's get back behind the bar. Here at Mizuno, we actually make eggnog uh, six or eight months in advance. Basically what we're gonna do is make a traditional eggnog recipe using the aerating container, and we're gonna make a little bit of uh, an eggnog milkshake. So the benefit of the disc inside the aerating container, I can add egg yolk and sugar and emulsify the two together without basically over whipping the eggs or scrambling the eggs. And sugar. Whenever you whip sugar and eggs together, you look for what's called a ribbon uh, or a ribbony texture. Uh, we can actually get that in the aerating container. So once it's completely emulsified, it'll be this really beautiful golden yellow color. Really, really uniform consistency. The sugar granules have dissolved uh, in with the eggs. I mean, that was a matter of seconds. Really nice and completely emulsified, basically ice cream base. After the eggs and sugar have been brought together, the next step is to bring together the dairy. So each one is a third of a cup. Start with uh, skim milk, half and half, and heavy whipping cream. Next up, obviously, is the alcohol. This is being built to age, so we're actually making this the last week in April to serve in December. Uh, all of this will go into a glass container and into the refrigerator, and after about two weeks, everything will have come together, um, and a lot of that alcohol will have smoothed out. We are using three different alcohols in this eggnog. We're gonna start with brandy, so this is cognac, uh, VSOP. Second is American bourbon, and this is in equal parts, a third of a cup each and we'll finish with a really nice aged Jamaican overproof rum. Um, after that, we'll hit it with a couple dashes of Angostura bitters for some baking spice notes and get back to blending. So we'll put the lid plug back in and dial back down to one, turn it back on. We'll slowly bring that up to about uh, three, three or four, and then we'll add the alcohol. So, finished product. This is a byproduct of the aerating container. Um, and the VP3 is great at this. Uh, the texture is fantastic. And anybody who's made eggnog before that's done it the traditional way, it's much more difficult to do and it's much more time intensive.